hello guys welcome back to the channel once again today i'm super super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today i am gonna be sharing a brand new list and today i am gonna be sharing new august lesbian movies series that i would highly recommend you all to go ahead go watch and support we all know that the year is almost over we are halfway in and let me tell you when it comes to movies and series and inclusion to be honest all the platforms they have been doing a really really good job and august is looking pretty good but before we get into the list please don't forget to like comment share subscribe let me know your thoughts and let's get right into so it we're gonna start off with a good girl's guide to m five years after the horrific crime committed a 17-year-old that was eventually pinned on her boyfriend who confessed prior committing the crime himself. Pippa, who was young when the crime occurred, is all grown up and determined to find out who really did it. Pippa's best friend Kara is queer and plays an important role next to Pippa. It's available to watch on Netflix and it has one season available. I'm really excited for this series because hopefully Kara will get, you know, a romantic lover in the show because I feel like that would be really, really nice. But the only way we can find out if that's actually going to happen is if we go ahead and go watch the show. I feel like I might be, you know, looking at it and hopefully it is worth it. And if you guys are also interested in it please let me know then we have back to 15 season 3 will premiere august 21st on netflix anita and her best friend have left high school and she's thrown into yet another past now she's older and visual arts university student living in the drums adjusting to college while still hunting for traveling time anita older sister louisa and her girlfriend bruna will be making a return to the series and the series is also pretty queer because there are other representations in it as well hopefully we get to see a little bit more of camera time when it comes to louisa and bruna and they can you know take their relationship to the next level that will be something also really nice to see then we have Emily in Paris. Season 4 will be available on Netflix mid-August. Emily saying that her potential suitor Gabriel is the man that is still having a baby with a woman who is in love with another woman. And she also, in this case Camille and Sophia's storyline will continue as in season 3 things kind of was left unfinished between the two lovers. I'm really really rooting for them. I would highly recommend watching season 3 before season 4 so you guys can understand a little bit more about the situation and the love interest going on between Camille and Sophia. This couple is really the one that I'm gonna be go and watch as soon as it comes out because I really feel like they have a lot of potential to be a great couple. Hopefully, you know, the writers and everybody who produced the show does not disappoint in season four when it comes to their storyline because I feel like, you know, season three, I get it why things had to end the way it did, but hopefully in season four, we will get the happy ending. Then we have The Umbrella Academy. Season four will also be available on Netflix first week of August. During season 3 ends, the horrific siblings lost their superpowers and in season 4 we will see how that will play out. Hopefully we will have more queer representation in it like previous seasons, especially with the amazing storyline that they had between Vivian and Cece. I personally enjoyed the series a lot and I'm really really rooting for another great queer you know, representation. Lesbian couple also, you know, I feel like that would be really really nice. I know it will be kind of impossible to bring Vivian and CC back, but if that is possible, they would also be really, really nice. But, you know, let me know your thoughts if you guys are excited for the fourth season of the Umbrella Academy. Then we have 15 Love. Season 1 is available on Prime Video. In this case, in August, Tennis Prodigy begin pushed away when she tries to kiss her coach and subsequently suffering a career-ending injury. The story picks up five years later when Jacin, whom is actually bi, has become a hard-living party girl who works at as a physio at the elite academy where she actually started her tennis career at. Her coach actually returns to the pictures and a lot of situations were unveiled. But Miki is actually a sports PR agent in this case and she wants to get to know Justin more. They actually end up going out on a date. But it looks like Justin mind watches somewhere else when it comes to her coach situation. So she really didn't give Miki a nice, nice try. But I have seen a couple of clips here and there and it looks like things between Justin and Miki kind of get spicy. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So I will highly recommend watching 15 Love and hopefully I will be doing a review regarding it because it looks really good and the quality also of the series look good. 
Then we have something in the water. The movie will be available end of August on Hulu. Kyla fights back when a group of people comes for her and her girlfriend Meg, igniting a fight that leaves Meg basically unconscious. A year later, now the split couple actually reunite at the wedding between a mutual friend. The first time Meg seen Kyla since the attack that left her in a critical condition. The two are left on an island by friends to sort out their differences. Yeah, so we, it's kind of interesting because the movie is based around a lesbian, you know, relationship situation. But this is actually a horror movie and it's about a shark's attack. So it's kind of like a shark attack, but also at the same time, a lesbian couple who is trying to fix their differences and overcome what actually happened. So it's a little bit of both. This one, I will definitely, as soon as it gets released on Hulu, I will go ahead and go watch to see if it's really worth it. And if you guys are also looking forward to it, please let me know. I feel like it will be good. Hopefully, hopefully it's worth the watch. Then we have the Decamorans. The series has one season available set in the 1930s during a very difficult time, the pandemic in human history. The series explores the timeless themes of class system, power struggles and survival in a time of a very, very difficult situation for humanity. There is queerness going on. When the real Philoma makes it to the villa, she starts to notice Missia, sparking an unusual spark that actually leads them to having a very, very spicy love affair. Yes, it looks like things between the two young ladies definitely heat up. I don't know until what extent because I haven't watched the series yet. But if any of you are actually interested in going to head and go watch it, I will highly recommend you also go to Netflix because it's actually already available on their platform. And if you have watched it, please let me know your thoughts because I'm definitely going to go ahead and go look at it as well. Then we have House of Dragon. The new season definitely had a wow factor when Rhaenyra and Masaria shared a very steamy kiss that has given the viewers a lot of mixed reviews. Honestly, I can comment a lot on it because I haven't really followed the series. So I don't don't know really, you know, if this is something that was already going to happen. Is this something new? Is this something unexpected? So if any of y'all have an opinion on it, please let me know down below in the comments. And if you guys are rooting for this couple, will they become a couple? Are they a couple? Is it worth them being a couple, yes or no? Let me know your opinion. This series is actually available to watch on Prime Video and Max as well. And I know also on other streaming platforms. So if you guys haven't watched House of Dragons and you guys want to watch this scene of them happening, this whole wow factor, I will highly recommend watching season two because that's where everything between the two ladies actually starts to steam up. So yes, guys, that's basically it. But before we go, I just want to say that I've activated the super stickers to the channel. Just in case any of you would like to make a small donation, it will help us out a lot in order to take the channel to the next level, grow and just, you know, elevate and do better. And I also want to say thank you so much for all the love and all the support that you guys been showing on the channel. It 100% doesn't go unnoticed. And I also want to say that please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and go ahead and go watch this new releases come back to this video, comment, let me know your thoughts, tell me which ones are worth it, which ones are not. And if I have missed any, you know, new content that will be available in August, please drop it down below in the comments. It will be also very, very helpful. I hope I see you guys again at the next list, at the next video and goodbye.